Welcome to Monthly Empties for the months of October and November. This is a series that I have brought to you for several years. I now do my monthly empties every other month. Almost all of the items that I share with you are constantly on repeat. I repurchase all of these items over and over. If there's something new that I tried, I will let you know if I believe it's worth purchasing or if it is something I wouldn't recommend. As always, links to everything will be in the description box below today's video. If you click the top link in the description box below, that will take you to the corresponding blog post, which is always your easiest place to shop from. All right, let's get started and you can expect to see everything from beauty to household and even some food and beverage. Starting with the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes Singles. These are great for travel, on the go, or to supply your guests if they are staying with you. I always have these on hand. This container is looking a little rough, but this is the Egyptian Magic All-Purpose Skin Cream. I use this to remove my eye makeup and I have for years. Highly recommend. You wouldn't believe how well it will cut through your mascara. Another popular item on repeat is the Mederma Advanced Dry Skin Facial Toner. This has alpha hydroxy acid. Absolutely love. Would highly recommend. The next product is new. I received it in some type of free gift with purchase. It is the Eminence Organic Skin Care Strawberry Rhubarb Dermafoliant with Lactic Acid. This is a little powder that you mix in with your facial cleanser. I have kept this in my shower for a few months and I have added a little bit of the powder and mixed it in with my facial cleanser to wash my face. Definitely liked it. I'm not sure how pricey it is. I don't love it as much as my Dr. Brandt, which I will make sure that I have linked. I love that product for exfoliating, but I typically do my facial exfoliating in the shower because I like it to be done in the morning because I do believe that exfoliating can help with your makeup application, but I do think this was a lovely product. As you know, I cut open all of my products this is by Obagi. This also came in a little set, and it is the Retinol 1.0 Cream. While I'm sure this works lovely, I already use a prescription retinoid, so I am just going to stick with what I'm currently using, but I did use this up. Another repeat is my Glycolic Acid 20% Resurfacing Pads. I alternate using these. Every night, I use either my retinoid, at bedtime or I use the glycolic acid pads and I alternate every other night. The Gillette Mach 3 razor cartridge refills. I will have the cartridges linked as well as the razor that I use. Always on repeat is my L'Occitan Delicious Soap. Another item always on repeat is the L'Occitan Milk Concentrate, which this is the refill pouch. I just refill my jar. So if you are just getting started, you may want to purchase the jar and then you can purchase the refills to fill it. And another long time love is the L'Occitan Supple Skin Oil. Also cannot be without this. Moving right along to Paul's deodorant, I have the Men's Degree 48-Hour Anti-Perspent Deodorant in Cool Rush. It's his favorite. He always purchases a very large pack from our local Sam's Club. A hair product that's always on repeat is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Conditioner. Another product always on repeat is the Sebastian Shaper Plus Extra Hold Hairspray. This is the travel size. I do always keep a travel one in the travel box. Already have picked up another one. Love my little black hair clips to pin my hair up when I'm styling it or if I'm doing a face mask or if I need it for a workout to get some of the layers up there. Uh, every once in a while, I'll break one and typically it's because I'm laying on my back doing my ab routine and I forget that I have the clip back there and as soon as I lay down, I will break it. And I don't know, maybe they can be fixed. I have so many, I'm good. A fragrance that I used up, this is a little sample. You know I collect fragrance samples. I loved this one. I really am disappointed to see it be empty, but it is the replica in 
Whispers in the Library. This is a really sexy, smoky scent, perfect for fall and winter time. I wouldn't recommend this in the spring and summer months. I do believe that fragrance has its seasons, but wow, this is a beauty. I'm actually wearing another one today by Replica that I absolutely love as well. More smoky and sultry and deep. I will definitely have it linked with my outfit and beauty details, which I always include in all my videos, including outfit photos, which you will see at the end. Crest, baking soda and peroxide whitening. I'm not picky about my toothpaste, as you will see, because here we have the Colgate baking soda and peroxide whitening. Speaking of whitening, always on repeat, share this in every video, the Opalescence Go Teeth Whitening System. Used it today. And cannot be without the Retainer Bright Cleaning Tablets to clean my Invisalign tray. As a reminder, I am not doing Invisalign. I have completed, but I do have my permanent tray that I only wear when I sleep. Another product of Paul he always has one on him, they are everywhere, is the Chapstick in Classic Original. This is all he uses. He does not like any other chapsticks. I have been out of my lip balms, so I have a couple of these in different locations as well, and I really do like it. Moving into a few makeup products, I have the Smashbox The Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur. I am always stocked up on this primer. I probably have a couple in the can. Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in Loose. Absolutely love this. I also have it in the travel size. Always on repeat, the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade 3.5. Also always on repeat is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Black Fever. I only use this pencil on the top waterline. I don't use eyeliner at all except on the top waterline. And a rubber pad that goes in my eyelash curler. I have a whole pack for replacements. I do think it's really important to replace that rubber pad periodically. I do probably at least every couple of months. And don't forget, I don't apply my makeup every day, but it will make a big difference. If you notice your lashes are not not curling like they usually do. It's just a matter of switching out your rubber pad. Moving on to a few body care, carefree thong panty liners, the Poise Impressa bladder supports in number three, and I emptied my kinesiology tape, which I really only use when I'm running to prevent chafing. Um, so I've already repurchased this. I haven't ran in a few weeks. With the weather conditions in Michigan, I believe my running season has come to a close and I will restart that next spring, but we will see. You never know. I may go out for a run if I have a really nice day and it works for my schedule. Moving on to supplements and just let me share that everything that I share with you in the supplement category is always on repeat. Starting off with the Advocare Spark Energy Vitamin and Amino Acid Supplement in Grape. This is my pre-workout drink. For post-workout, Transparent Labs BCAA Glutamine Growth and Recovery Supplement in Sour Grape. Emptied too. A lot of workouts in the last two months. St. John's War, 1100 milligrams. Vitex Berry Single Herb Extract. I take this for hormonal balance. It was recommended by my functional medicine practitioner. Empty two probiotic, vitamin E, vitamin C, vitamin K2, magnesium glycinate. I take the maximum amount. These are 400 milligram. I take three at bedtime. You would want to work your way up to that. If you don't, you'll find out why. And blood sugar support, if I am taking a celebratory meal, which usually has quite a bit of sugar in it, or anything standard American diet, I will typically take a blood sugar support supplement. And an empty prescription bottle of my progesterone. Emptied a couple hand soaps during the fall season. Here we have pumpkin cupcake from Bath and Body Works. I believe this was a gift, smelled lovely. 
also emptied the Hand in Hand Citrus Grove. Not even sure where I got this one from. I like how it's metal or tin. My absolute favorite fabric softener, the Snuggle Super Fresh. This is an original. We use these dishwasher tablets in our dishwasher. They're by Finish Powerball Max in One. I believe Paul picks this container up at Sam's Club. Emptied a lint roller. This is very important to always have on hand. I keep one of these in my car, especially during the fall and winter season or the winter season where I'm wearing a black wool coat so important so I do have a couple of these also burned a nice fall candle from Walmart this is the 719 Walnut Avenue I think it's called in pumpkin waffles I've talked about this candle for years for those of you that have been following me way back in the day this probably rings a bell let me know in the comment section whoever came up with these you know it was a woman you know it was a woman but oh, the parchment pre-cut sheets. I also buy the pre-cut sheets in aluminum foil. Love, perfect. I had to replace some white footies. <laughs> Lots of workouts. And of course, I will have the ones that I purchase on repeat linked below. Last week, leading up to Thanksgiving, I did a three-day juice cleanse. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I did a juice cleanse going into Thanksgiving. I try to do a three-day juice cleanse about every single month. If you'd like to join me later this month, I'm doing another three-day juice cleanse leading up to Christmas. Uh, Christmas is on a Saturday, so I will probably do a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe a four-day, or a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, going into Christmas Eve. So if you want to join me, the link to do so and the code to get a discount will be linked in the description box as well as on the corresponding blog post. So emptied some juices. Folgers, classic roast. We buy the jumbo and I believe Paul picks these up maybe at Sam's as well. Not really sure, but it'll be linked. Yes? Club. Sam's Club? Yeah. <laughs> He's helping me from behind. Yeah, I, I figured. I Probably everything that I mentioned, Sam's Club is accurate, right? Yeah. Your degree, mm -hmm. dishwasher tabs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know who does the shopping around here. I have shared before, I do not enjoy shopping. I am not the typical woman. People would think I'd be a shopper. I think they'd look at me because I do have some fashion sense and I feel like I'm really stylish or I love my style. I believe people would think that I love to shop, makeup, everything. No, I don't like to shop for anything. Groceries, um, accessories, clothing, beauty, skincare, no. If someone else can do it for me, I am very happy. I'm very appreciative. I will pay you to do it for me. I just do not like shopping. I always say if I ever got invited to a ladies shopping trip with a group of women, I'd probably decline the offer. Or I would just go and say, you guys go shop. I'll hang out and have wine someplace and then you just meet me when you're done and you can show me everything you got. And actually, if you see something for me, here's my card. <laughs> no worries, we will get into more beverage beyond the juices and the coffee, but first we're gonna go into food. Here is the Trader Joe's Mushroom and Company Multi-Purpose Seasoning Blend. I love this seasoning. It was actually recommended by one of my clients. Actually, she gifted me one. She sent me a gift and included one. And when I first tried it, I didn't really, it didn't wow me. But then I started at, I thought I was cooking with it. And I don't think I could really detect anything. But then I started sprinkling a little bit on top of some of my more comfort food dishes and oh, it is just such a nice added flavor, so definitely recommend. Chunk light tuna and water. This is kind of my preferred snack of choice because, again, you know I manage my weight and I work very hard, very, very hard for that to happen. My snacks, if I need one in between meals, is always a protein always a protein. If it's not a protein, it's typically going to be something like a cucumber. But if I don't have a cucumber on hand, I always know that I have a tuna packet or a can of chicken. 
that is my snack of choice. And it's not that I wouldn't like to snack on something else. I just know that snacking on other things will typically not serve me in managing my weight window. Lenny and Larry's The Complete Cookie. There is no difference in eating this cookie than there is any cookie. In fact, one of our daughters sent a TikTok in the group family text where who, some TikToker, some girl on TikTok, did the breakdown of a Lenny and Larry's cookie compared to, I don't know if it was a regular cheeseburger or a double cheeseburger from McDonald's, and the double cheeseburger actually was lower in all of the bad stuff, and it was higher in protein, go figure. It just goes to show you that if we listen to the world, we can fall prey and, and so many things are misleading. So don't be manipulated into believing that stuff like this is actually aligning with a healthy diet. It's not, it's not. If you want to be healthy, none of your food will come in a package. Huge weakness, huge. Wish I had these today. I'd love to munch on some of these. I love the sea salt vegetable chips. I actually prefer Aldi's brand the best or Kroger's off brand, but they were out and there was a sale on the name brand, so pick them up. Love these. I will eat a whole bag. I mean, the bag is only filled to about here, and definitely that would be when I'm taking some type of celebratory meal. Another celebratory meal that I eat from home, if I'm, most of my celebratory meals take place out whether at a get together, a party, some type of gathering or at a restaurant because I'm a foodie, I love to dine out, Paul loves to dine out. So typically my two celebratory meals that I take per week are, are out somewhere. But once in a while they take place at home and if they do, this is a favorite of mine. It's, it, you can only get this at Kroger because it's the Simple Truth Organic. Goat cheese and beet sauce pizza ultra th thin crust, I love this. Not everyone does. I picked one of these up for my oldest daughter, Kirsten. She wasn't crazy about it. She loves goat cheese, but I think there was something about the beet or maybe the mixture, but I love it. A little treat for Norman, my grandpup. I have the Ben and Jerry's doggy desserts in Pontius mix. He loves these. I always try to have a little treat in the freezer for him. Linz, Lindor, uh, chocolates. I picked these up for, clearly Paul is having a pop, but I picked these up for the Christmas season. I have not tried them, but I've bought several bags because everyone in the family loves them. It's peppermint cookie. So there's chunks of peppermint cookie inside the milk chocolate or the peppermint flavored truffle stuff in the inside. I don't want to try it because then I may know I love it. And I have candy dishes sitting around for when guests stop over. We, we have guests at the house all the time, especially our adult children. So I like to have these and I don't want to be um, pulled and, and, and tugged towards them, which could happen. So I haven't tried them, but Paul loves them. All of the kids love them. They've been a huge hit and I believe they're their limited edition, probably just for the holidays. Speaking of holidays, we entertain a lot and we go through a lot of different adult beverages. This one here is rum chata, peppermint bark, fantastic in coffee. Uh, if you like the peppermint flavor, you can also put this on the rocks. If you do, I would let it sit for a while. It just, it's not so rich, but definitely very good. I actually prefer the original rum chata. Let me share, this is very, very fattening, very fattening. So this would definitely be something that you would drink maybe one, and, and it would be when you're having like a celebratory meal or as your dessert. Typically, I will have this as my dessert because it really is like dessert, so good. Another nice addition to coffee or your coffee bar during the holidays is the Bailey's Deliciously Light. Uh, this is 40% less sugar and calories. I wasn't super crazy about it, maybe because it's the light. I guess if I'm going there, I'm going there. That's kind of how I feel because if I have any of this, I'm taking something celebratory. 
it, this is not like part of a clean eating plan. So I feel like if I'm going to celebrate and cheat, I'm going all in. I don't do light or fat-free anything. I buy whole milk, whole butter, whole sour cream, whole cream cheese. I cook with the richest stuff because it's already a celebration. And I feel like when people lighten things up, when they use 2% versus whole milk, or when it calls for heavy whipping cream and they knock it down to half and half, I feel like you compromise your recipes. Again, if you're going there, you're going there. Another liquor to have on hand during the holidays is vodka because you can make several mixed drinks with it. Tito's is a fantastic one, would highly recommend. And of course, moving into wine as I always do, we went through plenty of bottles of the Witch's Brew. This is a Michigan wine, but I do believe you can get it in other states. Really great, has spices in it. Um, actually pretty high in alcohol content, so be a little careful, but we went through plenty of these during the fall season. Grand Traverse Select Sweet Harvest Riesling. If you know someone who likes their sweets, their sweet whites, um, some chilled uh, sweet Riesling would be really nice. I like more of a semi-sweet Riesling, but I definitely am a Riesling lover. I, I can pretty much drink anything and be happy. Really nice uh, Chardonnay by Edna Valley, definitely would recommend. And here we have a Cabernet Sauvignon by Parker's Estate, and this was a beautiful bottle as well. Well, there you have it. Empties for October and November. My next empties will take place the end of January or beginning of February. That will be for the months December and January. Don't forget, everything is linked in the description box below, but click that very top link and it will direct you to the corresponding blog post. As always, your best place to shop from. Outfit and beauty details will be there as well. Here's some photos for you to enjoy. Thanks for joining me and keep up the Christmas spirit. Get that shopping done and don't forget to check out all of the Christmas gift guides. I have several this year, every age, every person on your Christmas purchasing list. So check them out. I will have the library linked below. All right, we'll see you soon.